Well, hello, welcome back to another video here on Hall Family Farms. This is the third video I'm doing in a series on the crack key method of hydroponics growing. In the first video, I used a five gallon blue bucket that I purchased from my local Lowe's Home Improvement Center to grow a Hanover tomato plant that I grew from a seed that I collected from a Hanover tomato I purchased from my local grocery store last summer. Now I believe the Hanover tomato is an heirloom variety, but I'm not for certain on that. So in my second video, I used one of these totes that I picked up from my local Dollar General store to grow two California Wonder green bell pepper plants. And in today's video, I'm going to use one of these containers. This is a five gallon container to grow four red cabbage plants. So that's today's project. So we're going to start by drilling some holes in the lid and I'm going to put them as far away as I can and as close to the edge as possible to give these cabbages enough room to form heads. So that's what we've got here. So I've got my drill and my drill bit here. Now this is a one and three fourths inch hole saw drill bit. Now it's important to put your drill in the reverse mode, which I have here so that we don't tear up our lid. Now, the noodles that we use are two inches in diameter, so we want this hole to be a little bit more narrow so that that pool noodle, which will become a donut, will fit in there very snugly and hold the plant firmly in place. So let's get these holes drilled. All right, now that we have our four holes drilled, we're gonna take our tote and kind of just clean out the shavings. And then we'll be back to mix up our nutrients. Okay, so I rinsed out my container. I filled it up just a little bit because we want these nutrients to dissolve while we prepare our plants. So again, it requires three ingredients. The first ingredient is the master blend for 1838 formula. We're gonna use five teaspoons. So one teaspoon per gallon of the master blend. So let me get my teaspoon in here. And it doesn't have to be exact, but close. All right, our next ingredient is Epsom salt or magnesium sulfate. We don't need quite as much of this, so I'm gonna use a fourth of a teaspoon, and I'm only gonna go with four of these scoops.
Okay, our last ingredient in this recipe is calcium sulfate 15.5-00. So we're gonna add five teaspoons of our calcium Okay, the last ingredient in our recipe is calcium nitrate 15.5-00. We're gonna use one teaspoon per gallon, so that will be five teaspoons. This is again a five gallon container. Okay, so while we wait for those nutrients to completely dissolve in our water solution, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can tease out four of these red cabbage plants and see if we can't get them inserted into the lid using our $1 pool noodle. Now we've only used a few sections of this, so we've got a lot of plant to do here. So let me get my scissors. And I'm gonna again cut a donut off of this pool noodle about an inch and a half to two inches. All right, so there's one, I need four of them. Two. three, and the fourth one. Okay, so we'll set our noodle aside. Again, this pool noodle is two inches in diameter, and the size of the holes that I drilled in the lid, uh, each hole is a one and three-fourths inch hole. So, in order for this to really fit, you gotta cut a section out and you need to do that anyway I mean I suppose you could try to feed the the roots through the hole of the noodle but this makes it so much easier to do now one cuts not going to do it it will allow the plant to go in but you need to take a section out of this in order for it to fit nice and snug so I'm going to take out about a half inch of this noodle here All right, and that seems to work. Okay, as you can see, I've cut about a half inch out of our pool noodle. This will allow the plant to rest inside of that while squishing it together to give it support and so that it will fit inside of the hole that we drilled in the lid. Now that will help support that plant and keep it from falling into the water solution and drowning. So. Okay, so we're going to want to keep this wedge just in case we need it. So if the plant is not large enough to support itself with the hole that's here, which is about a, a quarter to a half inch hole, um, you can put the wedge in the middle and then that will shrink the hole size so that your plant, let's say it's a microgreen, seedling you can stick that in there and that wedge is going to help support it until it gets bigger and then you can remove that as the trunk of the plant grows or the stem of the plant grows so we'll keep that here aside but the noodle let me set this aside so you can see the pool noodle should fit in there now all right so now let's test our pool noodle in case we need to cut any more from it you want it to be a snug fit. Now that's a nice snug fit. And I want about half of it sticking up at the top and about half on the bottom. And so it's not a, an exact science. So that seems to work. Let's go ahead and cut our next pool noodle here. So again, you just take your scissors, stick them through the hole, 
snip it and then take out about a half inch wedge here. Okay, that's two. And for you righties out there, and this would be a much easier task than it would be for a lefty like myself here, these scissors are usually designed for right-handed people. So we'll set our scissors aside here. Now we've got our noodles cut to the size of a donut. Now it's time to tease out our cabbage plants. So let's see what we can get here without destroying all of them. I'm just using my son's baby fork here as my helper. All right. Let's see if we can tease one of these out of here. Okay, there you go. We've got a nice little plant. Actually, we've got two here. So I'm going to set that one aside. I'm just going to use my fingernails to remove this lower leaf here. And we have a nice cabbage plant right there. And it's got a nice trunk here, but we're going to have to get the soil out of these roots. So let me set that aside. Let's see if we can get four more out of here. There's a nice one. Okay. Two. There's three. Let's go with this one here. This is a, a good one right there. All right, so let me try to just manipulate with my hands, try to get some of the soil out. I think because this soil is a little bit on the wet side, we may just need to use our garden hose because I don't want to destroy the roots. So let's go wash the soil out of our cabbage plants. I think we've got the majority of it. I think that's a piece of bark there stuck to that one. So the roots are not as big as I thought they would be. So this will be interesting to monitor their growth in the crack key system. So, all right, let's take them up and get them in the lid. All right, so we have our four red cabbage plants here. Now it's just a matter of placing them into our lid here. So we'll start with this small one. Now you can see uh, that that's going to be a little bit loose there. And so I think what we're going to do is take our wedge here and stick that in here to help tighten that hole up a little bit. Okay, so that's going to give it a little bit more support while allowing these roots to dip down into our nutrient water solution. So I'm gonna go ahead and then stick that into the hole. All right, that's gonna work out just fine. All right, let's 
get our second plant here. Squeeze it together. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit loose, I'm thinking. So we'll get our wedge here. Stick that in. There we go. actually kind of surprised that these roots weren't a little bit bigger but they are in a community aluminum cake pan vying and fighting for space to grow so I guess I shouldn't be but so surprised got our cabbage in we've got the roots down below so let's go put the lid onto our container that has the nutrients dissolved now let's go take a look all right so it looks like our nutrients are all dissolved and now it's time to install our lid with our four red cabbage here. All right, so let's take a look. All right, we see water dripping off of all of the roots. So again, the way this system works, these roots are gonna reach down, they're gonna draw up the water and the nutrients from the long roots, and they're gonna form shorter, more hair-like roots up in the air pocket so that they can exchange the uh, gases maybe that they put off as well as take up oxygen. So some of the roots will be dedicated for the water and nutrients while others will develop and will serve to gather oxygen for these plants. So let's put this lid on here, snap it in place, and we'll bring you back for updates as we go along here. All right, that's gonna bring this episode to a close. I hope you'll follow along with me during the growing season as we make comparisons between these plants using the crack key method of hydroponics growing and comparing that with the same plants in my garden. So I hope you'll stay tuned. And until the next episode, please be safe out there, take care, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.